What, you think me and Jay were just going to stop right there? You think after Friday you thought that we were done? You thought that Jeremy wasn't going to give us another shot? That that was the end of the line? Well, I'm here to tell you, it's another high tea dose of Geeks and Gamers Daily. <laughs> What's up, Geeks and Gamers? Welcome to another Geeks and Gamers Daily with the C minus team. Jay, drunk 3PO, and Fear the Beardo, the new guy. Look at everyone's Damn in right. the chat saying, new guy, yes! Let's go. We got the new guy! You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So, how you doing today, man? You had an awesome... Awesome stream last night, dude. People showing up playing Hell Divers. People are addicted to that game, man. Hell Divers is so freaking fun, man. And it's it's crazy how many people in this community are just like trying to make chat rooms. It's like, man, we're playing Hell Divers. Who's in? Who's in? Like, just trying to get a full squad. It is. Uh, I mean, it's taken our community by storm, but it's also taken the world by storm. It, it's it's so freaking fun, man. I am so addicted to it. Yeah, you're having a good time. I was supposed to play oh, last yeah. night, but man, I got caught up in uh, Acromatic Chronicles Green, getting ready for that launch. And it's like I just got to get this done. Then I'll be back to uh, I'll be back to killing bugs and Terminators. That's just where we're at. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Uh, in case you were wondering, the thumbnail was created by our very own <laughs> new guy. <laughs> I did make all, the thumbnail. <laughs> all we saw were like jaw lines in the chat. Holy crap! Like jaw lines and everything else. <laughs> like that. When I talked to Beardo yesterday, he's like, uh, "What thumbnail?" I was like, "Let's do, uh, you know, uh, Leslie Headland. We're gonna talk a little more Star Wars, and then, um, you know, you gotta add Sydney Sweeney if that's the case. You know, if if, if you put Leslie in there, we gotta balance out the force, man. Yes, we gotta yeah. balance it out. And look at that, right off. Steven for 50. I've known Star Wars for almost 28 years. No good versus evil. The woke saps running Disney need to watch or if they already have rewatch Empire the Strikes Empire Strikes Back. Yoda talks to Luke Skywalker in depth on good versus evil. Evil. Cheers from Texas. Sorry, right, it's a little thank you for the $50, Steven. Well, it's because Holy crap. Disney does not understand Star Wars. Well, you know, like uh, on that super chat, I will say this: there, there is a new—I don't know how to say it—but there's like uh, there's a there's a new vibe concerning Yoda. I don't know if you knew this. There's a, there's like a new vibe. And listen, I'm just gonna throw it out there: people gonna have whatever opinion they want. That's totally fine. But this is like before people were like, "Yoda's my favorite character," "Yoda's this," but. This is like the new Disney Star Wars fans take on Yoda. So I'm just curious, like maybe people in the chat feel the same way. But when you bring up Yoda, this is what they talk about. It says, um, so this one says, what Star Wars opinion will you will you defend like this? All right. So this guy says Yoda was alive for centuries, watched countless Jedi fall, die and suffer the slow uh, corruption of the Republic and even after the Jedi fell, he still tried to force his broken ideas on Luke. Yoda represented everything wrong with the Jedi and led them to failure. That's what they, that's what the new Disney Bro. Star Wars fans think of you. Oh, the comment section are filled with. I totally agree with you, man. I'm, I'm glad somebody said it. I'm glad this. So, but there could be people in the chat that feel the same way about our dear Yoda. I'm just saying. Maybe not that many. <laughs> that is that is unbelievable, dude. It's Honestly, pretty, what are what a retard? Right? Pretty wild, right? Pretty that wild. is retarded. Uh yeah, Chris, I think Chris in the chat sums it up right. Yoda is a straight white. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so you can't go around saying, "Hey Yoda, man, he was the good guy," because they think that they think Yoda's that he's not. Evil. But but think, but talk about a change of events real quick. Uh, look at this right here. I never thought I'd see the day when uh, 
Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. Look at that Rotten Tomato score. Granite, granite, like the stone. <laughs> <laughs> like the stone, like the countertops. There is uh, only six reviewers, but they gave it 100% from the critics, and the audience score gave it a 91. What what timeline are we living in? But it, and the first one sucked, right? The first one was horrible. The, so I've never seen it. All right. The first one was Christopher Robbins went to college, right? I, I'll do a, a brief recap. Christopher Robbins used to basically they told the tale of Christopher Robbins went and visited the poo creatures, Tigger, Piglet, Eeyore, and he would bring them food and he'd play with them and all that stuff. Well, Christopher Robbins grew up and went to college and he forgot to bring them. He's like, well, they're old enough. They'll take care of themselves. Right. Well, they didn't take care of themselves because they stopped eating and they started like they were getting ready to die. And uh, so they decided, like, we've got to we've got to eat one of our own to, to survive. All right. Spoilers. OK, if you don't want to know, it's really weird. And. uh so they all drew straws to who would they eat first, and it landed on Eeyore. So they ate Eeyore first. <laughs> and when they ate Eeyore, it turned them into this vile creature. <laughs> it turned them into like, like these crazy people that are just like, well, we're just going to start eating people. Right? So then magically, uh, some, you know, a bunch of girls, a bunch of big booby girls decide they want to go camping in the woods. <laughs> of all places. And Winnie the Pooh and Piglet decide, well, that's going to be our next that's going to be our next food. Right. So it's just so weird. Like like when they were running from <laughs> Winnie the Pooh and he would reach out and grab them, the girls shirts would magically rip off. So they're running with no shirts on and stuff. Oh, dude. And then some rednecks in the forest are like, I heard you're killing kids out here. Some, some, some girls out here. And they try to kill Pooh. But he's like he, he's like basically Michael Myers. <laughs> It's rough, dude. I was like, this is hot garbage, man. And now they're like, well, I might need gonna... to watch it. I might need to watch it. If there's boobs involved, I might need to watch it. There's a lot of boobs, but dude, there's also like, they're like eating people. <laughs> it's really weird. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. Especially if the second one's this good. The second one's about like Tigger making his, you know, Tigger decides to join the group. Is, is Tigger in the first one? Not so much. Only in the very beginning. He kind of okay. like it's it's mostly Pooh and Piglet. Okay. I feel like so, Tigger, like for a horror Winnie the Pooh movie, Tigger could be like very interesting. <laughs> Can I get the boob only? <laughs> <laughs> so so Haiti. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, it's like I don't know. This is like so. Apparently, Tigger shows up and he's like the baddest of the bunch. You That's know, awesome. So, uh, it's just one of those things. I, I don't know, man. I, I This is definitely... But I can't believe that the the score is that high. For, and is you know it what? in theaters They're or just, is it streaming only? I, dude, it's in the theater. I think it's in the theater. Uh, but does, it, is, does this just show you how bad movies have gotten that more people would rather go and see a... Uh, <laughs> A Tigger horror movie. Well, see, they had to wait until. So here's the thing. So Winnie the Pooh went on public domain, right? Right. A, a certain, a certain Winnie the Pooh. So they they took right. that and they made that first horror film. Then this past year, uh, Tigger, the older version of Tigger, went on public domain. Mm -hmm. So now they did. Now they did Tigger. So yeah. if, if they keep making money, and it only cost them like. <laughs> If you look at the film, it literally—I feel like it's something that me and you could make recording on our iPhones. Yeah, you know, just like me wearing the Canadian bear costume, right, mm -hmm. with a mask, and I hunt and I hunt and kill everybody. I don't know somewhere fishing on a lake, right. and just make sure there's like women running around with no tops on, and then there you go, you've made your money back. So we'll just keep making them until sign me up. <laughs> but I mean. <sighs> Yeah, I guess there is, I mean, there's always like your cult classics, right? Your cult classics where it doesn't necessarily need to be good or great, but it's, you know, you still like kind of just mediocre movies. That's, that's 
how it's always been since the beginning of filmmaking, I guess. Uh, but I think you do kind of appreciate some of these campy bad movies now because Hollywood is so fucking bad. Speaking of bad Hollywood, we're going to watch this and then we'll get into some super chats. Um, Will Smith is desperately trying to make a comeback because bad boys ride or die will be bad coming boys, out to theaters June 7th. You know, Will Smith had a video game that no one ever heard of and it bombed miserably. Now we've got bad boys. Martin Lawrence, they're making their way up. Let's just see. Uh, hey, hey, man, could be good. We'll see what's up. Ready? Are you ready to watch the uh, Bad Boys trailer? Let's do it. Three minutes. Yeah. Three minutes. Here we go. Bad Boys trailer is coming out right now. Right now. Right. Right now. Yeah. Right, right, right now. now. Right now. Right now. Check it out. It's hot. That was so oh, fucking gay. Oh, oh, oh. We are late. I like Miami Mike. though. I need a ginger ale. <laughs> Get a ginger ale and nothing else. Are those dogs fresh for the man yesterday? Give me one. Put some relish on that motherfucker. Open the register. Stay right there. Mm mm. That Skittles on the counter, Marcus? This ain't mine, Mike. Yes, it is. Shut the fuck up. Marcus, get in the car. He has a gun to my head. Want to deal with him? You want to deal with me? Sorry, sir. But I got to go. Ah! Call 911. Aren't you the police? <laughs> Hey, Reggie, you eat my snacks? No, sir. You ate my snacks. Oh, it's hey, Reggie. You need to get a job. I'm a U.S. Marine, sir. Well, then you need to deploy. Dad, look. We now have evidence that the late Captain Conrad Howard of Miami PD was working directly with drug cartels for years. Captain Howard is being framed. <gasps> what the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If he's seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck! Doctors! Fuck them all! I don't know how high up this shit goes, but I don't trust anybody. You're my bad boys. Now clear my name. You should be careful. They're being set up, detectives. Whoa! We got two suspects. Lowry okay, that was cool. Net. They're armed and dangerous. In five, four, three. No, I can't wait for Lowry. It's flammable. I go there, scientist. Y'all are some terrible fucking fugitives. Ah! I can feel like any rest of my memories. Me and Jesse back to back is getting scary. Put some pins all on your head like Jason Terry. I need mean, nasty mic. Bad boy. Uh, I got this. What you don't do? Bad boys, ride or die. Are y'all still in our clothes? Just because we black, we still in your shit? Huh? What? Look at your shirt. Why don't you sing us a little Reba song? Oh, uh, uh, Reba. Sing your favorite. Uh, I'm a woman. So I'm a strong black woman. Strong. Yeah, because she's not black. Yes. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? That ain't no Reba song. It's from her mixtape. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> the action was fine. From what we, from what I seen right there, the the coolest part of the trailer was the action. The lamest part of the trailer the was the was the dumb, unfunny banter that they were like they were acting like they were in their twenties again. Man, these are two old fucking men. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like Will Smith was actually convincing in some of the action scenes. Martin Lawrence, he didn't he. He didn't look. Convincing. I think he. I think they peaked at Bad Boys Two, right? Like Bad Boys Two, I I enjoyed. But it wasn't like these these weren't the kind of movies that you were just over excited to go and see, right? It was just kind of like oh, okay, it's uh I'm watching this on TNT with the commercials and the right. edits. Or right. or like what when the movie came out and movie tickets were five dollars. Yeah, it's one of those things. But it's like I, now I, now movie tickets are fifteen bucks. 
Are you going to spend 15 bucks to see that's bad see, boys? And that's in, the thing, too. The You're right. Like, Will Smith uh, hasn't done himself any favor since, right? You know, since a while. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, Martin Lawrence, man, boy, he's like, he's hard. Like, he's Martin Lawrence has gone through some stuff, man, but it sounded like his voice was almost gone. So it's just like trying to recap something. So mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, have, like, I, I probably won't see it in theaters. Yeah, you back know, in the it, day, man, people used to actually like going to the movie theater. Oh, we don't got anything going on? You want to, like, it, it was like the fun thing to do. Let's go to the movie theater. It was cheap. It was like, all right, let, let's go. It doesn't matter. Like, I don't even know what's in the theater, what movies are out or show times, but let's go and let's look at the fucking screen and, and see what movies are there and what time starts and let's go in. I mean, like, people used to do that all the time. It's not the same anymore, it's man. It's not the same anymore. Especially with streaming, it's like now, like you, you people look at at movies and go, "I can wait for streaming. I can wait yeah. for it to show up on my YouTube TV or yep. you know whatever." When is it? Uh, when is it going like to be on that. Prime? When can I? When can I just right. buy it on Prime or, or whatever? I mean, now, if Martin Lawrence did Big Mama's House one last, that I'm there, man, front row. Come on, man. Come on, you guys love Big Mama's House. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> and, and Will Smith, dude, his his hairline and his goatee looked like it was painted on. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things. Man. Hey, just... I, hey. well, there you have it. Let's uh, cleanse and uh, <laughs> I'm not let's read some super it. chats, man. Um, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Bush and Ryu Cat with the $2 to start off the stream. Chat. Geeks and gamers, how fucking awesome was WWE Raw last night? I did not see. I usually I'm I'm about like one week behind. So I'm about like one week behind. Sorry about that. I, if it's if you guys are saying it's good, then I, I'm looking forward to it. Too ugly <laughs> too ugly to assault for two dollars. I heard they're looking for me. I think that was uh, um, I think that was uh, so Twitter this morning and last night was P. Diddy. And dear God, that horrible incident of the bridge that right. collapsed uh, mm -hmm. in Maryland. And man, hearts, man, go out to anyone like T's families and that. Oh, T's dude, that's out to Baltimore, man. That is awful, man. That that is that is absolutely hor that. It's horrific to see. Let's see it here. Let's uh, we'll we'll play. If you didn't if you didn't know, we'll we'll just play this now. And um, this is all over social media. What happened over in Bar Baltimore? Shocking. The Baltimore Harbor. 20 people are now missing, according to this. But uh, I'm not sure. So apparently, and, and listen, we don't know. I'm sure there's going to be more information that's going to that's gonna come out. But like you could see the cars driving on the bridge. And apparently, according to this video, it's like the ship was losing power. And... It, it it's just unreal how fast that thing just just falls over, you know, like just just driving, you know, just driving on a bridge. So they there it bumps it there, and it, it's, there it is right there. That's, that's when unbelievable, right there. dude. Look at that, dude. That is like unbelievable. And how just quickly the entire thing just falls apart. That that is horrifying, man. The video's oh. sped up. Yeah, I know it's like it's sped up. Uh that is hard. There's a I think there's a picture here from this morning of kind of like what it looks like. Wow. That 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 is uh that is insane. I couldn't imagine. Driving on a bridge and then it's just like Dude, yeah, that that that's rough. That's rough. So yeah, man, all our man, just sending as much love as possible to the families out there. I, the I, quality I, of that bridge, man. I mean, I, I'm sure we'll get a lot more, a lot more. I mean, you can just see where it just the ship just knocks it over, mm -hmm. and there it goes. So. Horrible situation, man. Horrible situation mm -hmm. uh, that you just that you don't want to see. 
uh, at all. And then the the other story that's just that's just all over the place is, and and we'll just address this real quick again. We don't I, until <laughs> more information comes out. I'm not sure, but everyone is talking about like like P Diddy right now. Apparently, and this is this is from Pop Crave. Homeland Security has issued a statement after they raided Diddy's L.A. and Miami homes. Early today, Homeland Security investigations um, executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation. So there's an ongoing investigation. And there are all kinds of rumors and stories and videos and, like, people saying he fled the country and other people saying he didn't flee the country. And then, like, TMZ is like, no, we got video of him still in Miami and then we got this over here. Dude, so... I don't you, until it all the dust settles. I, you don't even know what to believe. I'm just gonna say this: P Diddy, he did not. Uh, <laughs> I know. It. Don't yeah. say it. Don't I'm not say gonna it, say it. I'm not gonna, gonna say, say it. But yeah, he didn't do I it. I know what you're gonna yeah. say, but he did not do yeah. the the videos coming out of like old video clips of the stuff he said. It's like woo. <sighs> I'm sure I'm sure that's going to be all over social media for quite a bit. All right, continue. There you go. Continue. Yeah. yeah. Uh Stephen DeLeon for a $5. Uh what was what was Theory's last card to play to keep Stargrift alive? I don't know. I did not see Stargrift. I know that it, uh, that's Star Wars Theory our our boy RK Outpost and uh Mauler were doing a show and Monday was supposed to be the last one. But they said that they'd come back again for like reunions, like maybe after a series is over or something like that. So I, I didn't see the episode. So uh too ugly to assault for a two dollar says no. <laughs> oh. Gaunton for a one and nine. Are you talking Jay? about is that the Leslie Headland? <laughs> yeah. This one right here. Yeah, yeah. Bro, where did you find that picture, man? That jawline is like <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I photoshopped it. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. That's a real picture. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's, that's un good. unedited. Unedited. Actually, I kind of wish I had a nice jawline like that. Anyway. Sure. <laughs> With that huge heaping fucking like I, I, I was gonna I was too. gonna put a big ugly like black mole on her lip and then <laughs> no. I and then when I and then when I photoshopped it, I was like, oh shit, she's already got one. Ah. Uh. Kemet says it's not a jawline, that's a shelf. Okay, all right. Well, I give you that. <laughs> oh man, I, really, I give you that. Orange Gonton for a one nine nine says, "Hail J and the new guy." Thank you for the one nine nine. Beardos were Kata size shoulders for a dollar says nothing. Hey, you watch your mouth, okay? <laughs> a whole dollar, man. Thank you. Too ugly to assault for two dollars. Make sure to go back and get all the super chats. Oh, we're doing it right now. <laughs> we're doing it right now. Thank you. Too ugly to assault. Uh, Tomok for a twenty dollars. Congrats on Microsoft telling their devs that they don't want money anymore. This whole gamer thing is uh, the stuff is. Well, we'll talk a little bit about that. Like okay. uh, that that's going on. Holy crap! It just keeps un. It's like an onion, man. It's got layers. <laughs> We're getting into more layers. It seems like everything is happening like right now in the past three weeks. I'm telling you, it's like everything's happening right now. Uh, Dave Chandler for four months. Democracy and the one nine nine. Get some. There you go. Yep. Shout out. Um, Togue fan. Togue fan for a five dollars. Jay, does the new guy know who was who was one of the strongest pirates and also died at sixty nine? I don't think he does. I don't. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to educate him later. I'm, I might have to. Uh, is there a video <laughs> on it? I might have to watch the video. Uh, a mentee for a ten dollars. Leslie Headland looks like Eddie Ed, Eddie Izzard in that thumbnail. Gent, uh, gents, I am scared for my life. Oh, <laughs> boobies! I'd be scared too. Uh, empty headed for 12 months. Wow. First no Mario Kart last night, and now it's Geeks and Gamers Daily with uh with the ho hobo phobe and the new guy. What's going on lately with you guys? Joking, you're awesome. Are you Thank a hobo are you a hobo phobe? Yeah, I am a hobo phobe. Yeah. We found I, that out yesterday. I don't so. blame you. I, I don't I like don't hobos. Yeah. What a weird name. Hobos, they got a stick. 
You just in a little me. like polka dot handkerchief. You know, they tie to the back with all their belongings. What's in that handkerchief you bag just for bums. real? Just call them bums. Yeah. The bums. Like Christian the bums. Rocker for a 199. Uh, Jay, sixty dollars for Ghostbusters popcorn bucket. You want to send me sixty bucks for that popcorn bucket? Send me an email if you're serious. Christian Rocker, why don't you just? Hey, no, no, stop. Hey, my grift, come on. Okay, I'm just. I'll even autograph it for you. <laughs> okay, that okay. Well, there you go. That's different. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna autograph it. You have nothing to do with the movie. You weren't in the movie or nothing. You're just gonna autograph the Ghostbusters That's right. bucket. That's like me. That's like me. That's like me autographing like a like a Tom Brady jersey. That's right. <laughs> Auction it off. Here's a Tom Brady jersey with a Fear the Beardo. That's right. Autograph on it. All right. Uh, Andre Cr for a twenty five hundred dollars in check. The long way I eat corn. Disney Yoda probably. What's up, new guy? Hey, how you hey. doing? Bush and Ryu cat for another two dollars. Didn't Yoda have to hide to finish Luke's training? Yes. Uh, Maga Sandra for 10 months. Loyal to the 1977 trilogy. OG. Hail to the 199 Geeks and Gamers. Hail. Um, Ministry of Wrong Thinking for a $5. So how the heck does Anna de Armas look 19 when she was born in the 80s? That's voodoo Asian Melanie Mac shit. <laughs> That's something. I think they just eat a lot of vitamin C. I didn't know that Melanie Mac was Asian. Uh, SBZ for $2. Poo has no weakness, question mark. Have they tried to trip him? Did they, did, did they trip Poo in the in the first movie? Uh, they tried. They he, tried. Didn't, he didn't have that. It didn't work out. Um, <laughs> you fuck that bitch for a 199. It says no boob in Poo movie. Uh, there um, is. There is. Tobias Nexus for a $10. Today is off to a great fucking start. No power to the building. I'm on the third floor and I have cr I have crippling acrophobia. I'm essentially stuck until the power returns and I can't even work. Good Lord. Sorry to hear that, Sorry man. to hear that, Tobias Nexus. Uh, Paul M. for three months. Uh, your boys dressed the same today. Oh, no. You boys are dressed the same yeah, today. Gay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, we the the boss told us. I don't know. Yeah, he said, "Hey, listen. The only the only way that we're gonna bring you guys back on, you guys want a second chance at this? I know. You're gonna have to wear and rep geeks and gamer shirts every single fucking time. You're I'll on the be in the uh, I'll be in the outside of the building. I'm like, all right, whatever. There we go. Just getting kicked out. Um, Justin Martens for two dollars. Uh, who's the new guy? You'll find know. out on Tuesday night's main event. Jeremy mm. Jeremy will be back for Tuesday night's main event with the, uh, with the new guy? hijabi hijabi. Wait a minute, hojabi gamer. Oh, hijabi. freak! What do you call those things? They're he, they're hijabs, right? Hijabs. I I yeah yeah. Uh, yes, Cat will be hijab. joining. All right, hijab. thank you. All hijab. right, hijab hijab yeah hijab. We we can ask her uh, tonight. I didn't know what a hijab was or how it was pronounced. Let's not. Maybe we shouldn't go there, man. Until, until <laughs> Mia Khalifa, um, <laughs> Dave Chandler for a fifty dollars for for most of his respect. Yeah, for most of his career, Will Smith oozed charisma, commanding the screen. Just uh, just came to him effortlessly. Now almost everything he does feels forced. It's a shame. He was one of the last two stars. Thoughts and prayers for Baltimore. Actually, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yo, we caught up, dude. Why are you no. reading in slow motion? No, You're like we 30 got, minutes in. What the heck? All right, hold on. We're going to stop. We got to get into okay, more topics. Okay, we got, a, we got a lot, man. Dude, you guys are killing it this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we just got word yesterday that the new... Pirates of the Caribbean movie, which they thought Jack Black, uh, not Jack Black, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Jack Sparrow would make a cameo. Johnny Depp would make a cameo in this film. I totally messed that, <laughs> intro, that up. Uh, that <laughs> obviously that's off the Pirates table. Pirates of the Caribbean reboot with Jack Black. Uh, they're going to reboot the whole franchise. So 
I this is like the last IP that hasn't really been touched or you know, like I, I enjoyed all the films. The last one they probably could have done without, you know, they could have just got it at four. But, you know, I didn't think it was horrible. But th- this was like the last, like one of the major IPs that they haven't really touched. They could have just left it alone. Now they just want to reboot it with a, so it's a total reboot with an all female cast um, with a girl that's going to be Anne and possibly Anne Bonnie. Uh, from from Haiti is what is what the last thing that we got from was that they were going to do a story of a of a Haitian pirate. So I don't so, know, man. <sighs> Nothing from this film just <laughs> sounds like it's going to be uh, worth the trouble. But here's the crazy thing, right? Here's the crazy thing. They when they changed the original ride of Pirates of the Caribbean at Disney, right? They changed it and they added Jack Sparrow to the ride and they changed right. like the redhead being sold off and, and now they just sell off chickens like something like that. What's to stop them from like making an all girl cast, sending out the film and deciding like we're going to change the, the ride as well and, and get take, rid of Jack Sparrow and, get, and all take that Jack stuff. Jack Black out of out of the rides. Jack Black. Yeah, honestly, a Jack Black reboot would be better than whatever fucking movie that they're cooking up. I just think if they wanted to do a different pirate movie, they 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 should just do it completely different. Yeah, why does it have to be Pirates like, of the Caribbean? Why you have to say Pirates of the Caribbean? Just like, right. let's just do something completely different. Yeah. So, I agree. you know. I agree. But like, if it's a reboot, so then what? Like, dude, the Pirates music is iconic. That theme That's song. what I'm saying. Like, are they going to reuse that? I feel like they are so creatively no bankrupt idea. that they would still, even if it's a reboot, they would still use that music. <laughs> Scissor Island. I, dude, I, yeah. I, I have no idea why. I, I, th- this is, this is what we've seen. With re- and, and and not just I mean the Warner Brothers too. It's just like they they took an like they took an IP. And they're like, well, we can't think of any new stories, so let's just let's try to make some more lemonade with what was already made before us. Mm-hmm. The Pirates of the Car- Caribbean franchise was massively successful. I mean, overseas too, it was just very successful. And so why not? They can't make any money with Star Wars. No one wants to go see Marvel films anymore. So what else we got? What else we got? Open up the book, Bob Iger. What else we got that we can just, uh, you know, see if we can make some money off of? They're re-releasing films, right? Yes. Like, and they're like, that. that's all what of we the, got. Um, all of the uh, Spider-Man movies are coming back. The Star Wars films are coming the back. Wars They're coming re-releasing back. certain. Fi- Ryan talked about this yesterday. They're re-releasing films that was only available on Disney Plus streaming, and they are bombing, big time at the box office. And so now it's like, ah, well, we're at the end of the book here. We got Pirates of the Caribbean. We can do that one. Oh yeah, let's do that. Let's do a Haitian pirates, um, which is which is true. There were some Haitian pirates, but it's like they. The the rumor was is that the female pirate that they were going to use, um, her name is going to be Anne. And then I I know this can't be true, but we're talking about it because it's out there that it was going to be Anne Bonnie. Anne Bonnie was an Irish, a real Irish pirate, you know, that sailed with Calico Jack. And it's like, ah, who knows? We'll see how. And Pirates of the Caribbean films cost a lot of money to make, you know, mm-hmm. because like they can't film it all in the garage. Right, but maybe they'll do this one. Who knows? Who knows? So, well, and I then think- even with um, old cartoons that Disney just acquired when they got Fox, when they um, with the X Men, with the X Men '90s X Men TV show, X-Men and like, 27. And, and then yeah, X Men '27. That was LeBron James who tweeted that, right? I know, I know. That's why I thought that was funny that it was like, but yeah, and then they do X Men '97, and they just take all of the charm and charisma out of it. I had no, I I, I don't I have, have zero Plus, interest, so I can't I can't watch. It. I gotta wait for someone to like dump it yeah. on a. a I have zero Blu-ray interest somewhere. to watch X Men ninety seven. I don't know if it's good or bad. If people are enjoying it, I haven't heard much feedback on it to be honest. I just know that they took Rogue's ass away. That was like, <sighs> that was what people were really upset about. 
Well, LeBron James is liking it, so it must mean something. That's all I could say. Uh, hey, man, here's some fun news. It's a little different. Okay. Did you know the Titanic door that saved <laughs> Rose from Jack? What the heck is Jack? It sold for seven hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. So, so that iconic door here, where she had plenty of room to pull Jack up on the oh, door. Yes, yeah, she. Let's did. be honest. She did. She could have pulled the man up, but she just was like, "Ah, he was a one night fling." I don't need that headache in my life. <laughs> so you stay there, Jack, and freeze to death while I, mm -hmm. uh, you know, float on the door. Dude, seven. Somebody, what are they What are they going to do with it? I guess Dude, put it in their, add to their collection. That's money laundering, bro. <laughs> you keep saying that for everything, dude. <laughs> that, that, that's There's money laundering. There's collectors out there, like. Some of the things that sold in the past, like the most expensive prop that that, that was uh, sold to date was the whip from the Temple of Doom for five hundred twenty five thousand. Bill Murray's Red Rolls bowling ball from Kingpin. That's pretty cool. Three hundred and fifty K. You know, the axe from The Shining, one hundred and twenty five K. Tobey Maguire's the black suit from Spider-Man three, one hundred and twenty five K. That just sold too, right? That was like I, I have no idea ago, that just, just going sold. by this, uh, you know, by this. But yeah, so they just put this door uh, up on. Could you imagine like selling an old prop from the Titanic will make more than probably what <laughs> some movies that they're making today <laughs> will make? What do you do? I think do, it's funny. Do, do you just like put it in like a, a display and say? There's the door from the Titanic. Or do you like actually make use of it and install the door in your house? So every time you open up the door, you're like, man, Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet. Uh, I would make a nice coffee table, you know? That'd be cool. And then like like seal it in a coffee table so people could be like, hey, you got a door in your coffee table. Yeah, well, yeah. let me tell you, I paid almost $800,000 Put it in like, like, uh, like um, clear resin. You put it uh, like, maybe like you I don't get know, like clear because, resin and, and so it's know. like flat and then like it's just like on the inside of it. When we go through when we go through some tough times, you know, I might need to resell it because mm. that's that that usually what happens. Anyway, all right, let's knock these super that chats is... out. We got a lot. We still got to cover the Star Wars stuff. Is crazy. Yeah. yeah, but we didn't get to talk about um, acolyte very much the other day. Um, I, I got it all Friday. ready, man. We're about to launch yeah. it. I'm gonna launch it into um, the stratosphere. Uh, Dave Chandler for 50. Uh, we got that one. Thank you, Dave Chandler. Um, big worm for $5. What's going on with shipping? Uh, what's going on with shipping? It's covering the bridge. He, uh, he described what likely happened, etc. If anybody wants more info, worth a watch. In quotes, what's going on with shipping? Is Thank covering. You. Oh, okay. So, so that must be a, a channel or something. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you, big worm. Uh, Ministry of Wrong Thinking for a 199. In quote says, PP Diddy. Oh, no, PP Diddle. Thank you for the 199. <laughs> Blabs the Tower Tard for a $2. P Diddy did not ride the sewer slide. Okay. Uh, Andre CR for a 2500. Uh, the diddler didn't diddle himself. That's what I was getting at. That's what I was getting at. Uh, Kel Hund. Kel Hund. For a five dollars, you can't do you can't do edgy. I believe is what they meant. Uh, edgy black humor when you're gonna get canceled for it. Bad noise gonna flop. Mm. I don't think you. it's gonna do well. I have there's like no hype for this. There's like I, it's actually I I, I forgot that that was even gonna be a film. And here we are. Um, this name is. Very, very... Um, Be very careful. Yes. So... Um, just read half of it. <laughs> let's just say... Um, fig, fig, <laughs> nag. Fig, nag. Fig, nag. For a uh, $5. Tell Gina to file an injunction. She can halt the Mando movie production until her court case is heard. Also, Hedlund looks like she smells poop 24-7. I think she smells like poop 24-7. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Dutchy for a $5. I'll give more money for the popcorn bucket, but it has to be signed and used. Send me an email, drunk3po at gmail.com. What do you mean by used? I think he wants it buttery and slick. Mm. Maybe a little moist. Uh, right. Cade Coran for a 199. Beardo, <laughs> thoughts for ratio for the Acolyte trailer? We're going to get into uh, we'll that. We'll get into it. Trust me. Um, AFK Bard for a twenty dollars. Hey, what's AFK? How you doing? Um, I thought you were asking me what nah, AFK means. She's... Okay, AFK AFK's Bard is a good one. She's it's a good one. Uh, hey, Jay and Beardo, I haven't been able to catch you live in ages, but today is my lucky day. Y'all are both a joy to watch. You ever consider filming a buddy cop film together? You'd put bad boys to shame. I'll go back to lurking now. Uh, uh, we're gonna film a Waffle House. <laughs> We're going to go to Waffle House. Uh, we, we actually might need to talk to Epicverse about that. Yeah. Uh, the Wolf Frame Heart for a 199. Uh, would it help if would it help if I got you guys a speak speaking spell? Yes. Yes, yes please. I'll take uh, one. Hayden for a $20. Uh, they have to reboot Pirates of the Caribbean. They have to reboot it because they have to kill the past. Yeah. Yep. Um, so they could change the future of everything and everything uh it all there has been rumors of them like going through the pirates of the caribbean ride for like the past six months now that they just want to completely change it and make the pirates like happy not burning down a village or chasing people and everything so it's like they want to change what pirates actually were like change the history of what pirates really you know it's ridiculously stupid you know it's ridiculously it's, stupid it's, it's, they're just gonna make it small world after that. That's what one hundred percent. That's what that's what they want for the whole thing. Like just happy little people to say we're pirates, but we're here to like, you know, we're gonna give you stuff. We're not Dude, gonna if steal that, from. If you. that's the case, th that's what they're doing. They're making the pirates of yeah. the Caribbean ride small world. It's just a but rumor. Pirates. Just a rumor, guys. It's a rumor, but uh, it's like, look, they got rid of Splash Mountain because of political reasons. You know, so we'll see what happens. They got rid of uh, who knows. Jay says Caribbean weird. I used to live in the Caribbean. Caribbean. All right. It's all the. It all depends on where your teeth line up. But it's it's Pirates of the Caribbean. It's not Pirates, Pirates of, of the, the Caribbean. No, no, no. Eh, it's, tomato, it's, tomato. It's Pirates of the Caribbean. Are we all caught up, buddy? No. No. Um, <laughs> Chewbacca Near for $20. Love Chewbacca Near. I'm just trying to power through, man. We got to yeah. talk about Acolyte. One more Disney product to ignore. Yes. Eric Stratton for a 777. Mickey Views says Animal Kingdom Dinosaur Ride will be a reimagining of Indiana Jones Ride from Disneyland. Not a copy. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I heard that too. Uh, Doll Life Dan for a five dollars. Headland and Sweeney. It was the best. It was the best of thumbnails. It was the worst of thumbnails. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like the thumbnail. Uh, Tobias Nexus for a five dollars. Power came right back as we were told. We can leave until it's restored. Today is not my day, but at least I have Jay and Beardo on Geeks and Gamers Daily. Hey, thank you. Hell yeah. Ministry of Wrong Thinking for a, a for a ten dollars. Jack could fit with Rose on the door, but both of them on it at once affected the bouncing, dipping them into the sub zero water that people died from. We are shown this when Jack tried climbing on. I still think he could have fit. I think um, he could have fit. Yeah. Maybe he could have fit if Rose would have lost a few pounds. Lord of the Reef for a five dollars. Jay the killer. He scoops out people's eyeballs with the spoon on his back. Oh, that's the movie you want me to make in my Canadian bear costume? <laughs> Garrick. Garrick for a $5. Kate Winslet laid on that door all wet and nasty. Um, if I had it, got some bad thoughts forming, boys. Derek P.G. <laughs> Beller. Derek P.G. Beller for a 199. Neglected. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not. I, guys, guys, guys. I, I can't do it. All right, let's get into... I can't uh, read that one. Sorry. Let's get into a little Star Wars news. Since you guys are just killing it on the uh, Super Chats today, thank you so yes. much, man. I appreciate it. You're, you're dealing with the C-minus team, which is great. Um, it, it, 
the more they talk about this show, the weirder it gets. I don't know. I'm sure uh, Jeremy and Ryan discussed this, but um, let me go through everything real quick. Star Wars The Acolyte dubbed as Frozen Meets Kill Bill by Leslie Headland. I have no idea what that means. Frozen was a sing-along, let it go, a girl that has ice powers, you know, that lives in a nice castle. Then you got Kill Bill, a girl who killed everybody with a sword. Well, not only that Frozen, dude, a lot of the weird, like, alphabet community people with Frozen were trying to, like, ship the sisters that have the sisters have this ah, weird gross. lesbian gay sister incest relationship so, dude so this disney is doing everything in their power lucasfilm to we talked a little bit about this yesterday with ryan that they are trying everything in their power to kind of get i guess an excitement for star wars again uh they went to the i don't know if you saw this but they had the empire state building lit up all week you know with different star wars mostly it's kind of funny classics we got three right. darth vaders a chewbacca's in there tie fighter and darth uh maul. that's darth maul they're on the on the side so they're like hey remember star wars we got a new show coming out remember we talked about this yesterday they're introducing not one but two brand new popcorn buckets job of the hut you could open up his mouth and stuff it with whatever you want and uh, the this, they call this the uh, what do we call it? the salvage stormtrooper helmet bucket. So that I guess they just had these in the back. They didn't know what they were doing with them because nobody wanted to. <laughs> no one's buying the merch anymore. So let's make them into a popcorn bucket. So they have this. Also, if you guys remember, we talked that they're going to have a 20 hour Star Wars movie marathon on may 4th now here is a little example this theater here is selling tickets for 45 dollars. with that you get a buffet breakfast of star wars themed food and you can watch you know and then they have the show times here other theaters are gonna be selling this way over a hundred like a hundred a hundred plus dollars but here's the thing the Star Wars Marathon is only playing from, from the information that we have in only 13 theaters. Nationwide? That's it. Around Nationwide? the world. Around the world. That's it. Okay. Like, who wants here's to my- go? Like, they. here's the thing. Ryan brought up a great, again, Ryan brought up a great point. It's like, why not release them every weekend? You want to know why they're not going to release a different Star Wars film every weekend? Because they are going to release The Phantom Menace alone, like a solo, um, I think a week before. Because Disney doesn't want to get embarrassed if The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, they all start making money. And then it gets to The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and it just... yeah. No one shows up. There's a severe drop. So they're trying to cram all this in together, and now they're advertising right. you're going to get a special sneak peek of the Acolyte if you go and watch this movie marathon, which is only located in like seven theaters nationwide here, and maybe eight. I mean, there'll be more news coming, but I'm so just saying. So let me ask this. Are the movie theaters in – Disneyland's downtown Disney and the movie theater here at at Disney Springs are those two of the theaters showing this marathon? Disney Springs here in Orlando will not have this. That is fucking retarded. 100%. That is retarded. How unless they change How it, do they not? We, we like, like like how do, how do you not do that? I ch- that's what I'm saying. I tried to get information. And they're like, yeah, we're, I don't think we're going to host it here. It's like you're a di- you're at Disney Springs. Yeah. You're not going to have the movie marathon. Okay. Well, instead, they've decided that they're going to do a season of the force. And they just now released more information on how to hype Star Wars. So everyone in the chat, the 2,500 people watching, um, I'm going to show you some things that they're going to offer. And maybe this will get you hyped up about the acolyte right here let's let's scroll down we got the popcorn bucket we talked so is about that, that supposed to be a donut that looks like chewbacca well 
they've got food items here. Yeah. Like there's a there's a Chewbacca drink, I think. That you can only get during the season of force. We got the uh watermelon slushy with a Death Star glow cube. Hey, that's new. <laughs> new. <laughs> The Wookiee Parfait, a chocolate the, the sponge cake and chocolate burger. pudding. That's also new. Yeah. Uh, oh I mean, I don't know. Green milk with chili seasoning and mango jellies. Now, why didn't why didn't Luke have that? I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying. We also realized that they shipped a lot of stuff from the Galactic Star Cruiser to California. So that they could experience, mm. you know, the Star Wars Hotel. Yeah, yeah. Look at that glass. How oh, that Star guy. Wars. That's great. Uh, I don't even know what that is, but it's some kind of punch. And here's the, uh, look at that. Look at the little lightsaber cookies. You can get a uh, Chewbacca cookie. You can eat Baby Yoda. You can get... <laughs> It's a Wookiee cookie, a pretzel lightsaber. That's what that is. Pretzel oh, okay, lightsaber. Okay. Milk chocolate lollipop. That's good. And then this is this is unique. This is Galaxy's Edge uh, made with uh, chocolate, I guess. But I will point something out that's kind of funny. At Galaxy's Edge, they've got the Disney Star Wars Falcon because they've got they've got the square, you know, antenna. Here they put the round one. <laughs> I thought that's pretty funny. So the popcorn buckets that we talked about and some exclusive stuff that you could buy. Um, I don't know. They but they they are on an all like a push. This thing here is over a hundred dollars. So it's Rancor teeth. You can get four of their glasses. It's plastic. And uh I don't have that by the way, but uh yeah, so it's four teeth and they fill it with a drink, and you could take this home with you when you're done. Some us other sippers, some different types of food. Look, there's Princess Leia's yeah. bun, her hair in like a cinnamon bun. Ice oh, cream, ice cream, cinnamon neat. bun things. They they put did they put corn in that burger? That does look like corn in the burger. Well, it, it, it like that looks like some like avocado guacamole, like some shitty looking guacamole with with corn. Yeah, I'll pass on that. <laughs> I will pass on that. Dude, ha- dude, all of this is going to be crazy expensive. I, it, it, these these popcorn buckets probably sell for 40 bucks plus. I'm talking like the um, food, like, like yeah, the they'll, cookie, they'll, the, they'll that be, Chewbacca cookie. They'll probably cookie. be over $10. They're, they're going to be crazy, dude. But what I'm saying is it's that they know. Oh, shoot. I forgot to share. I mean, obviously... Like here is the teaser. Here's the trailer again. It is it is currently at 540 down votes. Mm-hmm. It's not even like balanced, you know, like hundred up votes, hundred down votes. It is just it's just bad. Yeah. You know, and people are rejecting it. And they it just seems like they are just doing an all out push to remember Star Wars, guys. Remember when you used to love Star Wars? We got a new show coming out. Remember, remember. Remember how cool it was. Like, come on out and enjoy Star Wars again. And then don't forget, after you watch the movies and buy our cookies and all that, we've got a new Star Wars show that's going to change everything about Star Wars and the Jedi. I hated almost everything about the uh, Acolyte trailer. I hated everything about it. And you know what? Yellow lightsabers, I hate them, dude. They're so dumb. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yellow care. lightsabers, orange lightsabers. What the fuck are we doing, dude? Well, like I said before, it's like the High Republic series, which is the acolyte. That's where Lucasfilm dumped in all their, I don't know what you call it, like diversity stuff or whatever, like all that stuff. Um, you know, and I just hope, like, if people don't realize that the these Jedi are also in the High Republic series, maybe they will make an appearance. Star Wars confirmed these two Jedi Knights are trans and non-binary. I don't know how that works. To me, that's more confusing. 
But uh, yeah, they posted on their Instagram. This this came out a while ago, but it's like in honor of Trans Day of uh, Visibility, we're proud to <laughs> unveil uh, these two trans non-binary Jedi, Jedi currently featured in Marvel's The High how does, Republic. How does that make sense? Comic. I, I don't know, man. None of it makes sense to me. But uh, like I said, these... I think they look like Star Wars theory, but uh, <laughs> they. I hope they make an appearance in the Acolyte. That's what I hope. And I hope. You can only hope. You can only hope. And that's <laughs> if it's going to be bad. Let's make it bad. You know. <laughs> but here's the, like. They they want us. They're they're doing all this with the movies, and they want us to get excited, right? They're like, oh, remember Star Wars? Yeah. Well, you know what else you could have done that with. With the fucking Battlefront and Battlefront 2 Collector's Edition remastered that you butchered and freaked up. You messed it up. <laughs> it's That would have got people me, back into Star Wars. To me, it is it is the greatest comedy ever. I already went through my Star Wars like, oh, this is terrible. It's, now I just laugh at it. I don't, because... I don't know if we talked about this on, um, on High T or on Daily. Uh, I might have just like had this thought that Disney, they purposely, it was like this psyop thing. They, they purposely fucked up the battlefront and battlefront two remasters. They got people excited for it and they purposely fucked it up to try to get people to go and play the new battlefront two their battlefront too honestly nothing surprises me anymore like like i said i think the main reason why they're not they're not releasing like the older films like all in a row because they don't want to be embarrassed yeah and it's just it's just a joke to me it, the lucasfilm i think the star wars hotel that uh, made my channel what it was it's just that that <laughs> That was the biggest joke of them all. That was the most laughable thing I, I think any of us have ever seen. And everyone, and the 2,500 people watching, everyone predicted, everyone, because they have a brain, predicted this is going to fail. Uh, and, and many of them predicted it would fail in a year, and it did. And it's just like, this is where we are with Star Wars. Like, after that, I'm like, everything's a joke. Like, let them just... You know, and you and people are like, ah, oh, they might learn their lesson now. They might learn their lesson. But hey, look, the Ray movie's coming, and I hope you guys are excited for that. <laughs> so it's like, ah, uh, who knows, man? Who knows? I honestly like to to your point. I don't even think they're smart enough to do something like that, man. It was just a thought. It, 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 <laughs> I it's know, it, it's not like saying. I believe that, but it. No, but but man, you, like you know. It's, an, it's like, an interesting thought to kind of entertain, I guess. I just don't even think they're smart enough. I think they sit like well, they listen, just don't care. Yesterday Easy we cash, talked cash grab. The acolyte Leslie Headland said, and we talked about this yesterday, that she hired writers that have never ever seen Star Wars because she's enjoying their perspective. Cord uh, Cord Wayner in the chat said, "Hell Divers should have a Star Wars parody planet." They do. They have a snow planet that is supposed to be Hoth, and it's called Heath. They do. I'm sorry for interrupting you, Jay. No, no, you're fine. I'm just saying, like that. That and someone pointed out yesterday, like that's just like that's like asking someone who's never cooked to cook you a steak. You know why would you? Why yeah. would you want to go to a restaurant that has a chef that's never cooked before to get you some like a good meal. It's like, why would you hire writers that work in Hollywood that has never ever seen Star Wars? I don't believe it. It's because they're activists. Uh, it's just I just that and I also just think they're retarded. Yeah. That's just what I think. I just think they they're just they live in a bubble where they think they're better than everybody else and I just think they're retarded. So there's that. Yep. All right, we're almost at the hour mark, man. It's time yep. to power through this thing. We only got a few. We only got a few. <clears throat> Nut Bunny. Nut Bunny for $35 says, Rose didn't mind leaving him behind because there was a... Rose didn't mind leaving him behind because there was a doorknob. <laughs> what's, what's that supposed to mean? I'll tell you after the show. Is she... Keep going, power... <laughs> Is he implying that Rose would yes, use... Yes, power through. Okay. 
Bill Prime Gaming for a 199. Beardo was a good man, and Jay cracks me up. Hey, thank you, Bill. I appreciate it. Uh, Kate at the Gaming for a two months. Uh, maybe she means that Elsa from Frozen's likeness was based on Elsa Jean, the the prawn actor. I don't know who that is, but thank you, Kate, for know. the two month recommitment. And that's it. Oh no, sorry. We had a uh, rumble, we had a rumble man. rant. We had a rumble Sub rumble. Rant. Uh, Bronze Knight for a one dollar. Looking forward to Godzilla versus Kong coming out. Uh, we'll be watching out for signs of some garbage agenda and abort mission. I'll keep my money instead. I'm. In, I, I think I'll see it. I think I'll see it. Well, yeah, actually, reviews have oh, come out. And it's. It's. You know. I think we'll. I think we're going to talk about that to maybe a little bit tonight on Tuesday night's main event. Make sure you check in. But also this. Uh, since it's in the title, I want to go over this real quick. We did, most of us, if you, if you know that one of the writers for Kotaku, um, they were going after, like, they wanted, like, inside information on Melanie Mack to do, like, a hit piece on Melanie Mack. And we, mm -hmm. it, Grums, who was on Tuesday Night's Main Event last week, uncovered that this lady, Alyssa, wanted to... Uh, wanted to fight Melanie like a, like a year ago or something like that. Like a physical? Fight? Yeah, like asked her to like get into the ring or some some crazy nonsense like this. What the heck? Well, like more stuff is just being like <laughs> uncovered about this lady, Alyssa. Um, Melanie, put she posts her email to her because she's like, listen, they're going to twist my word. Uh, and and we talked about this before, like Disparu, like and a few others were like, don't ever talk to a gaming journalist. All they're going to do is twist your words. They're just going to try to ruin you. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter anything. Uh they they're going to try to just twist your words, throw it out there, make you, you know, try to get you canceled again. Um and so she was just like, this is the last thing I'm going to say about this for now. But she wants to be transparent, so she like this is the email that or the, the message that he, she sent her in case she decides to change it. But this lady here that's writing up, so shout out to Vex. Um, I guess she posted a gym selfie or something, but she's got a tattoo that says all men are enemies. This is the same, this is the writer that's going to go after uh, Melanie uh, that works for Kotaku. Uh, I say Kotaku. But yeah, I mean, if that doesn't. And she also used to be, you know, I think she used to be an OnlyFans model as well. And now she's a writer and a journalist. But it's just not stopping. Shocking. Stutter and Craig put this out as well because this person here, Julie, who works in the gaming industry, apparently, she writes out says, Can we agree that for uh, round two, which she's talking about Gamergate 2, uh, that this can be the final purge of these kinds of games? So she's talking about like purging games that don't have like uh all the i guess the bright word is messaging and all that in there yeah all the dei so yeah she's like we want to purge all that stuff craig is just like calling for a final purge yikes this is violent and extreme and kind this kind of rhetoric rhetoric she claims to be against uh as jeremy says those who preach the loudest has the most to hide mm -hmm. so it's they're uh they're putting up a front man like they they they're trying to hold the line to fight for the video games that they want, you know, the sweet baby ink games, the games not like Hell Divers 2 that everybody right. seems to be enjoying, but uh, you know, games that are just filled with diversity and inclusion and all that other weird stuff that people now are like, we want to know if Sweet Baby had anything to do with this game because we don't want it. So now they're coming out saying, we want to purge you guys. We, we're going to come after gamers. We're going to do hit pieces. We're going to do all this stuff. So all you guys will shut up. Kind of crazy. And they're doing it to themselves, man. Yeah. They, 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 start, like, they start the fight. And then when the punches get thrown back at them, all of a sudden they can't take it. No. And they're going to they're gonna do everything in their power to cry victim. Mm -hmm. and say it's your fault it's all you mm -hmm. people in the chat it's all your fault you know it's it's beardo's fault because he doesn't play the games we want him to play it's everyone so we're gonna purge you guys yep <laughs> I think... 
<sighs> it's insane. Find out you're, more. You're going to play our games with our messaging, with our viewpoints, and you will believe what we believe and think the way that we think. And if you don't, then you're the fucking problem. Yeah, 100%. And we're going to purge you. It is unbelievable, man. This is we're where we're going to purge you. This is this is where we are now. Uh, it's it's pretty wild, and and we're gonna listen. Stay up with Jeremy. Jeremy is knocking out the videos on this thing left and right on his channel. Uh, on this channel, excuse me, on Geeks and Gamers, it's pretty wild to see that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, do we just do we just laugh at these people at this point? Like, what are they gonna do? There was a tweet yesterday that I believe got taken down from someone that was working on a game, and she was right. She 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 tweeted. And I tried to pull it up today, and I couldn't get it because I believe she either privated her Twitter, of course, or she deleted it. And basically, it was like, uh, um, she was like, wait till all these gamers find out that the game we're working on has no white males. Ha, ha, ha. It's like yeah. something like that. Yeah. You, you, did you see that one? That I was saw that around? tweet. I saw yeah, that tweet. So she, this, so this woman, yeah, of course, she's got every flag in her bio and all the pronouns and everything like that. Mm. She, she apparently just, uh, she got rid of that tweet because oh, everyone's coming after me now. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder Thank why. You, Steph. I wonder yeah. why. Everyone's coming after me. Why? Why are they? they these, these are the people we need to purge from the gaming. Like that, that. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, we're gonna talk a lot more about that tonight on Tuesday night's main event at Hell eight yeah. o'clock. And yeah. uh, we hit our hour, Beardo. You want to like power through? You guys have been awesome in the chat. Thank you for welcoming the C minus team of geeks and gamers here on, on Geeks and Gamers Daily. Um, hopefully, you'll see everybody there tonight. Uh, Taker for two dollars. High T Tuesday. It still works. You're damn right it does. Too ugly to assault for a five dollars. Shout out to all my homies in Baltimore, Maryland, in uh, the the Dundalk, Edge Edgemire and and yeah. And, shout out. Uh, and Arundel. Uh, ho hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, county area. Yeah, shout out to Baltimore. Uh, Super Mastermind for a $5. Uh, in quote, sweet baby detected. Microsoft uh, Bing refuses to discuss it. Mm. Refuses to discuss it. That's it. That's it. We're caught up. That's it. Thank you guys for another Geeks and Gamers Daily. Awesome. The chat is always MVP. We appreciate all the Always. jokes and everything like that, man. Like We love you guys. And we yep. will see you tonight on Tuesday night's main event. Shout out. Any last?